we had finished the carving. As you can see, I've got everything taped off. We're going to get ready to spray the background here. Again, I used the Rust Oleum 2X Flat Black Primer. We'll get started. Again, we use uh, short, light spurts as to not get a heavy coat on. And we'll flip it over here. Spray from the other direction. Okay, we'll let that dry, and we'll be back for the sanding process. Okay, we've got the paint dry here, the tape removed. We're going to get ready with the sanding process. I'm going to start with an 80 grit disc on my random orbit sander. We'll get started. switch over to a 120. All right, I've got the 120 grit on here. off and see what it looks like. Alright, let's get this thing blowed off. Next step will be the finishing process. We'll see you in the next step. Okay, we're ready for the finishing process. I'm going to be using Minwax Water Based Polycrylic for the finish on this one, just because it's going to be an interior sign. And I had some of this laying around, I want to get rid of it. I'm going to be using the Critter Sprayer to apply it. 
I've got my pressure set on about uh, 60 PSI. We'll get started. I like to start with the back, get it done, and flip it over. And here we go. Okay, we've got the first coat on the back here. I'm going to let that dry and I'll come back and I'll put uh, three or four more coats on. I'll do that off camera. Then we'll come back and uh, work on the front of the sign. Okay, we've got the back of the sign finished here. We're going to flip it over and work on the front. Okay, again, I'm using the critter sprayer to put the finish on. Also, I failed to mention earlier, if you've noticed tonight, I'm using a, a little swivel support here. Went to my local big box store and got a six inch swivel plate for a Lazy Susan and just mounted it to two boards. That way I could just spin it around instead of trying to walk around my spraying area here. And it has really made a difference. We'll get started on the front. Okay, we'll let this coat dry, and again, I'll finish the rest off camera. I'll put three or four more coats on here, 
After the third coat or so, I'll uh, take some uh, 320 grit sandpaper on my random orbit sander with just a real light touch. Uh, knock down the raised grain from this water-based um, polycrylic. And then we'll put on another coat or two and this one will be done. We'll come back with the finished product. Okay, we've got the finishing complete on the sign. Getting ready to add the hanging hardware. We'll be using um, screw eyes and chain on this. And we'll get started in that process. <clears throat> I just take a little center punch and a ruler and I usually measure in about two inches from the edge. Find my center. Just punch me a start hole. Come over to the other side as well. About two inches. Like my starting point. Drill a couple pilot holes. I just screw my eye screws in here. Sometimes I'll just take the center punch and just kind of aid with screwing those in. All right. I just set it up on my desk here. Using my chain, just take a pair of needle nose pliers, open up the link, hook it over, close that link back up. And I just kind of eyeball what I think looks good. We'll go with right about there. Open up this link. Remove the excess chain. Bring this over, hook it on. And close that link back up. There we have it, folks. This sign's ready for delivery now. I appreciate you watching this series and the mail carrier sign. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to do so. Hit that like button and bell icon to get notified when I post new videos. I appreciate everybody's support. We'll see you in the next video.